Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back again here with another action figure review. All right, ladies and gents. So we have a grail figure of mine. We have Eddie. Eddie! Eddie! Uh, Iron Maiden, Eddie, to be exact, from Spawn.com, McFarlane Toys. He is perfect in the clamshell package. I hate to take this guy out, but he's got to come out. This has been one of my grail figures, guys. I've always wanted Eddie in my collection. And he looks amazing, dude. I didn't pay $14.99, so if you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know I picked him up in the toy hunt that I did at a comic book store, a local comic book store. So, I'm not going to waste any of your time. I'm going to slice this open because I really, really want to review this Iron Maiden figure and oh yeah if you guys are familiar with my channel then stay tuned towards the end of the video where I'm gonna break out some comparisons some figures to do some comparisons and uh, yeah that's how I do it that's how we do it this is how we do it don't want to get copyright for this song okay Let's pull that open. Let's take a look at this pamphlet inside. See what they're advertising. All right, they got some music. Music stars. Yeah, they got Metallica. Metallica! They got Angus Young from ACDC. Jim Morrison from The Doors. Jeff, uh, not Jeff, Jerry Garcia from The Grateful Dead. Uh, collector's Club. Here are some Collector's Club. You guys saw that my last review of Biker Chick. I were actually we're going to do some comparisons as well. Here is Spawn Alternate Realities. I did a review of all these figures. I might do like a re-review of the entire wave, guys, because I really, really like the alternative... Um, alternate reality, should I say. Um, so there's a little instructions for Eddie's base. If you guys are not familiar with Eddie, Eddie is pretty much the mascot for Iron Maiden. Yeah, a rock band has their own mascot. I think every, <laughs> I think every rock band should have uh, a mascot. Let's take out Eddie. Let's free Eddie from this plastic prison. Oh, actually, oh, there's his base. There is Eddie. Eddie. All right. Let's take a look at Eddie first, so then we'll take a look at his base. So he just has one little twistable, twisty tie. There is Eddie, and this is uh, the Iron Maiden logo. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time, guys, because... I'm eventually going to call this guy Iron Man, which I feel like I've already did. <laughs> it just happens when you're re re when you're reviewing figures, you're going to get the names mixed up. Like if you guys watch my like uh, Predator, not Predator. Uh, see, I've already mixed it up already. Uh, my Carnage and Venom reviews. When I would do comparisons, I would call end up calling Venom Carnage and Carnage Venom, and it just happens, man. Same thing with Marvel, Marvel Select, Marvel Legends. I mix them up all the time, man. But anyways, let's get back to the man at hand. Love Eddie. Love him. I don't know exactly what Eddie is. I'm guessing he's kind of the dead undead. Uh, maybe kind of like a zombie. And I like his arms, too. His arms are... Look at that. They are rubberized. That's the only part of his body uh, that is rubberized. His arms are rubberized, guys. That's a pretty dope idea, dude. His hair is made of rubber, of course. Uh, shirt is made of a rubber, and the rest of his body is a hard plastic. 
breaking the law, breaking the law. Sorry, I know that's not an Iron Maiden song, but <laughs> I think that's Judas Priest, right? I just wanted, to, I just wanted to sing "Breaking the Law," "Breaking the Law." Uh, Eddie comes with this axe right here, which I'm gonna put in his hand right now. Why not? Let's get to it. And I love that it is rubberized, so he can hold it very, very well. Look at that. Look at that. Love the detail in his face, his guts, and. Just making sure nothing else is rubberized. Actually, he does have some bend, so it's not really a hard plastic. Some parts is hard, but some parts it is bendable. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's uh, cut that out. Here is the base. Oh, I love this base, man. I'm guessing this is where the Iron Man... Iron See, I've already said it. I've already done it. This is where the Iron Maiden logo goes to. On here, I don't want to damage this thing. I don't want to break it because if you guys are familiar with my channel, then you know I love to break stuff on my YouTube channel. That's what I like to do. I like to break stuff on my YouTube channel. Okay, here is the base right here we'll take a look at that in a moment i love that base i love that circular base dude that's really awesome killers i love that right there that is really 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 frail be very gentle with that let's take a look at this awesome base dude man that is so dope i love the hands coming up from the sewer that's very very dope love the rats hanging out here looks like this rat that rat right there is kind of Laughing at my joke, he probably heard um, me tell that joke. <laughs> that's what she said, and he started he started to laugh because he, he was like, "Yeah, that's true. That's true." Here's another rat feasting on some blood. Look at that! Isn't that gross? On the base, some rocks and pebbles, and looks like a cigarette butt right there. Very cool freaking base, man. Love it. I freaking love it. And a couple of pegs right there for uh, Eddie. And if I say Ernie as well, I apologize. I'm gonna get him mixed up with Evil Ernie as well. I'm gonna break out. I'm gonna break out Evil Ernie as well and do some comparisons. I know you guys want to see that if you're familiar with e uh, Evil Ernie. So let's take a look at his base. So there's a circular base right there. Here are the three pegs. Three peg holes right there. Let's plug in Iron Maiden's logo right there. Look at that. Damn, that looks awesome, man. That looks freaking awesome. Love that, dude. That's an awesome base. Probably one of the best bases I've ever seen, ever, out of reviewing action figures. Let's, let's hope that I don't break this damn thing, man, because I got a feeling I'm going to be breaking this damn thing. Peg it into there. There you guys have it. I don't know what these two pegs are for. I don't know if they're pegs or if they're just there for design. Maybe just there for design. But damn, does that look awesome, dude. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit so you guys can see what's going on there. <laughs> very, very dope, man. Let's peg Ernie into... Uh, excuse me. Eddie, see, look at it. Look at guys, you see how hard it is to review action figures? Not anybody can do this amateur shit. <laughs> Let's get Ernie e e Eddie! God damn it! I did it again! Let's get Eddie on this base and this and this right here. They need some more support for this man, because I got a feeling this is this thing is just gonna break. Yeah, man. I have to find a way. Because it's gonna get it's gonna be hard to peg this guy into the base because the rat's in the way. Let me hold on one minute. Maybe he goes this way. Okay, maybe he goes this way. But man, the feet don't line up that well. See, hold on. Where's this pig at? Right there. Okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. 
I think I got this. The rat, like right there, is making it difficult, man, because I can't get his foot down because it's stepping on his head. Okay, hold on. I got it. I got it. Damn it. It's unpegged. <laughs> hold on. I think I got it now. Yeah, I got it. It's, he's still stepping on his head, dude. Yeah, that rat. Dude, that rat is in the way, man. I can't peg his foot in there. Because the rat is right there in the freaking way, man. He's stepping on his head. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay, so I had to put the foot underneath the rat. As if the rat was gnawing on Eddie's foot and causing the blood. Okay, I gotcha. Man, I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, okay, so he does have some articulation there at the biceps. Dope, dope. So his rubber arms do bend. That's really, really dope. Uh, breaks right there. Essentially, he's just kind of a statue, guys, but damn it, he looks freaking great. Let me try to get this guy into full view for your viewing pleasure. Look at that, dude. Doesn't he look beautiful, man? This is a beautiful, beautiful statue piece, man. Essentially, that's what he is. That's what he is. That's what he is. I spent like four freaking minutes trying to peg him into this base like a dummy. Very, very nice figure, guys. All right, let's do some uh, let's do some comparisons, guys, with some figures I got here. So here was the last chick. Look at that, man. Look how well they go together. I think I might put Biker Chick next to Iron Maiden. So that was the last figure that I reviewed. If you guys are interested to check out that review, she is in my McFarlane reviews. Um, Darkness... Darkness, one of my other favorite, favorite uh, heroes, anti-heroes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, of course, this is from Claybor and Moore. This is not a, this is not a McFarlane, even though Image, I do believe, has taken over the Darkness. I don't. When they first started, I don't, I don't think they were with Image. I could be wrong. I know they with, I know they, I know they were with Top Cow, but I think recently they're with Image now. I, maybe they have always been with Image, but it's never been a McFarlane thing for. The darkness. Uh, speaking of Clayburn Moore, here is Medieval Witchblade. Medieval Witchblade. Here is regular Witchblade. These are all recent reviews I just did, guys. So if you guys want to check out these figures, they are in my Clayburn Moore Chaos Comics uh, playlist. Uh, here's another McFarlane fig. Look at that. Another beautiful statue piece of Natalia Castle. She's a McFarlane fig. And being that I got Venom pool over here, you guys want to see him with the Marvel Legend? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Don't they make an awesome team? There's Venom pool with Eddie from Iron Maiden. Very, very dope, guys. Okay, let's break out some other... Whoops, there's my light. Let's break out some other uh, figs and do some more comparisons. All right, so here is um, Evil Ernie with Eddie from Iron Maiden. There they go right there. You can see somewhat of the comparisons. They both had the rock, rock star vibe going on. Very, very similar. One of my favorite, favorite figs in my entire collection. Love that Evil Ernie. And being that I don't have too many rock stars, I figure I'd break out uh, uh, Johnny Silverhand, right? From Cyberpunk. <laughs> Simply because he's got a guitar, why not? Rock on, rock on. I could have broke. I could have broke up the Michael J. Fox figure, NECA figure, but eh, I didn't want to break out too many figures. I didn't want to make this a long ass review. Uh, okay, let me give you my rating, guys. On a scale of one to ten, with ten being the highest, I'm going to be very, very, very generous, and I'm, I'm basing this on an articulated statue review um, rating review. Um, he is essentially a statue, but damn it, he looks great. The base looks great. It's really, really flimsy, guys. You gotta be very, very delicate. I wish they would have gave us another piece to make this, um, make this a little bit more sturdy, because I got a feeling this plastic piece is gonna break off, guys. But, with all that being said, the base is magnificent. One of the best bases I think I've ever seen that I've ever gotten with a figure. Um, I mean... This chick right here is pretty awesome too. Uh, this uh, 
Natalia right here. She's pretty damn awesome. Her base looks pretty great as well. She was just a figure that I just recently reviewed. So she has pretty awesome base. But I think Iron Maiden, I think, has the best base I think I've ever seen. Um, ever. Out of all the figures I reviewed, all the action figures I reviewed. I mean, even Darkness. I mean, Darkness right here. Darkness has a great base as well, right? But this, this something about this base just says Rockstar, man. He's a freaking zombie rock star. Great base. The two arms right there coming up out of the sewer with a rat eating Eddie's foot. The blood right here. The uh, rat right here listening to some... Uh, Listening to some Iron Maiden rocking out right there, throwing up the devil sign horns. Uh, the circular base uh, back piece, Iron Maiden logo is done very nicely, man. Killer's logo is done very nicely. The figure is done very nicely, very well detailed. Oh, let's see. And if you're wondering what year this is from, it is from. Uh, well, it says 1981 there, but he's not from 1981. That's Iron Maiden. I think that's when Eddie uh, first made an appearance. But um, he is from... I don't know. What year? What year is he from? Connect Pile of Skulls to Base. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Connect pile of skulls. Oh, shit. I completely forgot about this, guys. It fell over here, dude. Oh, shit. I completely forgot about this. I, I Good thing I looked at this, man. I'm like, wait. Piles of skull to base. Yeah, there it is. Piles of skulls. Okay, this adds more awesomeness to this base already, dude. I completely, because when I opened the package, and went flying off to the side. Yeah, I didn't see it with the rest of my figures. So, okay. Good thing I looked at the booklet, guys. Some of you guys probably already left in the comments. Hey, the skulls. You forgot about the skulls, dumbass. Um, okay, I don't know what year this is from. I know, okay, um, it has to be from 2002. So, we'll say, yeah, it says 2002, maybe 2001. So, we'll say 20 years old. That's my typical uh, vintage figure review. And also, let's see how well this pegs into here. And it actually might give it some leverage. And yeah. Okay, I am a complete, complete dumbass, man. So, yeah, put in this base right here. If you guys are, can see it. Pegging this Skulls rock base into here just kind of gives this a little bit more sec uh, security and leverage. I love it. I love it. That is really, really dope, man. Really, really freaking dope. If I can peg it in here. Hold on. Hold on, let me make sure this is in here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, right, guys. Dope. All right, this just takes the base up to a whole nother level. I like this even more, guys. All right, I'm going to be very, very, very generous. And I'm going to base this on, like I said, a statue review. So this guy, in my opinion, is pretty damn awesome. The detail, the way he's presented, the base. The base is magnificent. I've never seen a base like this ever before, especially in such a small figure. Oh, yeah, let's measure him. Damn, I'm forgetting everything, guys. So uh, Eddie stands at uh, just under six inches tall with the base all the way up to the Iron Maiden sign logo. It's just under seven and a half inches tall. Okay, I'm gonna give you my rating. I think this Eddie is awesome. I'm gonna give him a nine out of 10. Yeah, man, uh, it's like nine, like bordering like on a nine and a half, but there is really nothing wrong with this awesome base, man. Awesome piece, awesome figure. Really, really dope. They did an amazing job. McFarlane did an amazing job with this figure, man. I highly recommend this if you like cool, creepy stuff. This Eddie uh, Iron Maiden uh, figure, statue piece, whatever you want to call it, is done very, very nicely, guys. Love it. Really, really love this piece. They did an amazing job, guys. I am honored to have this guy in my collection. Only thing that can make this guy a little bit better... <laughs> 
Give him a guitar. What do you say? Give him a freaking guitar, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Johnny Silverhand, I think you lost your guitar, buddy. All right. There you guys have it. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this amazing, amazing piece, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. I just want to give a special thanks for all who watched all the way to the end. And there you guys have it. There was my little review of Eddie from Iron Maiden McFarlane Toys. I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out. Oh,